All right, we're going to go through each problem. Let me know if you have any questions. If you got something wrong, make sure you fix it so you don't make those same mistakes on the test. So objective one was domain range and notation. So make sure you're paying attention. For the first one, the domain was negative infinity to infinity, or you could put x e r. It keeps going left and right. The range started at 3, so that should have been a square bracket, sorry, negative 3, going to infinity. Or you could have said y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Questions on that one before we continue? That's the lowest point. And that's bracket? Um, yeah, because it doesn't have an open circle, so it's assumed to be closed. All right, the next one, the domain was the same. So domain was the same, and then the range was split, so lowest to highest started at negative infinity and ended at 4, or everything below 4. So it should have been one of those answers. So make sure you're putting it in the right order, lowest to highest for range, left to right for domain, brackets if it's a closed circle. Then for these, you should have been putting only x values from left to right. So where it was increasing was at negative 3, from negative 3 to positive 3. Because from those x values, your y values are going up, decreasing started at negative 7 and ended at negative 3. So from negative 7 to negative 3. And then it was constant starting at positive 3 up until 8. So only x values from left to right, um, starting and ending points, and then they're all closed, so they were all endpoints. Christina? I'm looking at it. These endpoints. Which were drawn on yours, but not on here. So why is there like three and They're only x values. You are comparing the y values, but you're only putting the x values. Other questions on that one? Right. And then these, writing in interval notation, if it's less than or equal to negative 5, it's going to start at negative infinity and end at negative 5. It was a less than or equal to, so bracket. This one should be start off the same way since it's also a less than, so start off at negative infinity but end at 4, but it's not an equal to, so parentheses. And then the other one is switch. It's greater than 1, so it has to start at 1 and end at infinity. Questions on this table? So just for that about the graph, it's a closed circle with the brackets. Yes. And if you forget that, they are up there on the board. And you're welcome to go over there and see it. Okay. For the last ones, so this one you could have compared it to the ones that you had. If it starts at negative 4, it's going to look something like this. But it's a bracket, so it has to be equal to. 
x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Some of you did it like this. I accepted both. So either way is fine. For the ones that only have two, these need to be in between two, the x needs to be in between two symbols. These are both brackets, so these both need to be less than or equal to. So you can leave it like that or use the curly brackets. Either or. If you just put like x is less than or equal to 3 or x is greater than or equal to negative 7, that was only half of it, so you needed both. Always less than or less than or equal to symbols for these. And then 0 to 12 would be the same. Questions on any of those? Make sure you're using these to kind of help each other because what you do here, you're doing the opposite here, so that should help you. So that was out of 13 points. Each one was worth its own point. Then objective two, you have to write the correct equations. So for this one, it should have been f of x equals, in parentheses, x plus two, outside of the parentheses, squared minus three. That was worth two points. Did you get both of the transformations correctly and put them in the correct places? If you started adding in things that were not there, I started taking off. If you missed the square, I took off because you have to have that. Questions on that first one? For the second one, reflected across the y-axis is a horizontal, so that should have been inside, and then plus 5 on the outside. Three is now absolute value. Some of you were mixing these, putting absolute value here and the square, and then same thing here. Make sure you're keeping them straight. Only x squared for these, only absolute value for these. Reflected over the x-axis was negative in front, and then minus 12 inside. Yep. So for the second one, why did you put a one on top? You can, you don't have to. All of these can have a one in front. It's invisible. You can, you don't have to. Okay. And then the last one, stretch vertically. Should have been a five on the outside, a negative on the inside, and a minus two on the outside. So one through three were each worth two points. The last one was worth three. Did you put each one in the right place for a total of nine? Questions on any of those? Even if you did well on these, you should still be paying attention so you don't make mistakes on the test. The two equations for objective three, I'm going to tell you them and then show how you can find those. And whether you put f of x or y equals doesn't matter as long as you don't put both. This was flipped upside down, so you should have had a negative. The distance was not 1, so if you played around with this, found that number, and then checked it in your calculator, it should have been 2. Then this moved to the left 1, and up 8. So that was worth 4 points. Did you get the negative? Did you get that it stretched? Did you get that it moved left and up? Questions on that one? So you have to compare it to the original, which you could put in, you have to know that this is a U shape, so know it's X squared, 
in your calculator, you could put in x squared and y equals. Go into your table, graph the original, which would be 0, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 2, 4. And this has enough to be combined. So that's your original. It's been flipped upside down vertically, so that's a negative on the outside. The distance between these was one, now it's two, so it's been stretched and it's narrow. So you have to figure out that number, and that will give us the two. The vertex has been moved to the left, one, and up eight. So you have to compare it to the original each time. Okay. So if the addition sign is n, the long distance is goes to the left? Yes. It's yes. always opposite. Other questions on that one? The equation for this one was 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 minus 2. Again, comparing it to the original, you should have known that this was a v, this is your absolute value. The original starts at 0, 0 and keeps going up one right one, and up one left one. It hasn't been flipped, so no negative. The distance, or the slope, is now 2 instead of 1, so it's been stretched, it looks narrow. The vertex has been moved to the left 3 and down 2. And, and the transformation, not for this one. The important thing is that you get the equation right. And that you double check it in your calculator. If you put it in and the points match what's given, you did it right. If not, something's off. So definitely use your calculator. You have it, use it. Other questions on that one? Objective four was just describing your transformations and you could have used either set of wording. The wording that was given to you in the second objective, translated, reflected, um, stretched, or compressed, or you could have used shifted, still reflected, stretched or compressed. So for this one, there were only two things. There was a horizontal shift and a vertical shift. So you could have put horizontal shift, uh, left one, or that it translated left one horizontally, horizontally translated left one. And then a vertical shift down two. You have to know what's on the inside is horizontal and what's on the outside is vertical. You have to tell what type it is, horizontal or vertical, what type of transformation it is, the direction and the number. Any of those will result in missing points. So that one was worth two. Questions on that one? This one you had three things. So the negative was a vertical reflection or a reflection over the x-axis, either of those is fine. The one-half was a vertical compression, and you had to say by one-half. If you put vertical stretch, that was incorrect. And then the last one was horizontal shift, left three, right three, sorry. So for a total of five points for that one. What questions do we have on that? Okay. In the last section, most of you did fine for this, unless you forgot to put your vertex. So these were only worth two points. Graphing it correctly, and did you put the correct vertex? Look at your inside and outside number to find your vertex. Whatever's on the inside, do the opposite. No other transformations happen. So this would go up one right one. You just needed five points. You could have went further than that, but this is all I needed to see. Make sure you have arrows. 
and you would have gotten your whole two points. If you put this into your calculator, you could do the same thing. Just make sure you write down your vertex. Questions on that one? This one, same thing, the vertex, look at the inside and outside pieces, so negative one, positive three. This was flipped upside down, so comparing it to the original, it would go down one, right one, down one, left one, and then out two, down four. Some of you did the next point, but that wasn't necessary. And make sure you have arrows. And as long as you graphed it correctly, wrote your vertex, you got those two points. Questions on that? Questions on anything in general? Yes, Other questions? If none, 